Um, Can we check out the, the setup that you have? Yeah, yeah. Since I haven't, um, since it hadn't been hooked up, and the truck runs kind of like crap because it had because it because I actually undid it. And you may think, well, why would you not keep it hooked up all the time? Because um, I just undo it sometimes and never get around to <laughs> putting it back together and take it out that way. Okay, I had my son, who's a welder, mm -hmm. get me two stainless steel tubes because people said that stainless, is, was it better with the shadow or without uh, the shadow? What works for you? Uh, probably right there will work. Okay. He got me these two stainless steel tubes and he welded uh, nuts on the, uh, bolts onto the end of them and got me nuts to go on them so I have a really nice firm system up oh, here wow. instead of just having my because yeah. when I do it I just run wires in there and wrap them around a stick or something you know but you don't want them touching so I insulated the bottom of it like that but uh, you can see there's mm -hmm. been some corrosion that's stainless steel Wow. but um, this is a very corrosive process as well but it's all unhooked this is uh, this is typical of the waste that I get because I just use baking soda. Now they make they make electrolyte formulas now that are that are really good to produce in these things because this isn't anything I dreamed up. You know, this is all over the internet. But uh, I still I'm old school and I just stay with that. Mm -hmm. I don't have any distilled water, but I'm going to put this thing together if you want me to. I'll, okay, I'll just go through the whole process. Yeah. And, We'll make it happen. That'd be cool. Okay. Welcome to my humble abode. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is cool. Make yourself at home, okay? You're free to wander wherever you like. Wow. Oh, you know what? I may not have any baking soda. Good man, any, yeah. you know. Okay. My home is your home. Thank you. Oh wow. This is really cool. Jehovah Witnesses. All right. How are you? I'm fabulous, ma'am. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine, okay. Oh, I'm in the middle of an interview. Oh. And that's all right. <laughs> I know you want to give me some books, and I want you to know I'll read them. I sure do. And uh, so, if you hand them off, I'll, I'll take them, and I then would, I'll get on with my interview. I would How definitely you give them to you. <laughs> Because I do read them. You do? Yes, ma'am. Man. I don't go to meetings, but I do read them. All right. Well, we'd like to have you to the meeting sometime. Oh, I've been, I've, I've been many times to them. Yeah, but we'd yeah. like to have you come back. Ain't no need to come in one time. I wish you go to the Zephyr Hills congregation now. This magazine here, it's got one on the inside of it. This one right here. It talks about the war that changed the world. Mm, Invest your time world. wisely. Is this synchronicity or what? Wow. Yeah. yeah. And so when we talk about the war that changed the world, we're talking about World War One. But then there was a catalyst to this war that that um that um, changed the world. It was a catalyst to World War One. And in the Bible, in Revelation chapter twelve, it talks about a war that broke out in heaven and it caused that war on the earth. Wow. Now let me read. Could That's I give you something awesome. to do? Yeah, That's please. Awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. Love That'll be interesting. Yeah. It's inside this one now. You just open it up and it's in there. But I just wanted to open that up and show it to him. Thank you. But All you right. Up, well, that. you guys and have a blessed day. And your name is? I'm Randy. My I'm name Michael. is Essie. And Michael. Michael. Nice to meet you, Essie. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll come back through here, and when I come back, I'll stop by and see how you enjoy reading. All right. All right. I may not be here because you just happened to catch me home because we was doing an interview, but that's all right. Well, I just come back. you got to be on sometime. <laughs> Late at night. <laughs> <laughs> you, never I, know, you 
Because I invest my time wisely. Well, you never know where I'll be. Ah, I hear you. <laughs> All right, then, so you take care. Of All right, you too. Bye-bye. Right. Oh, that's the first time that's ever happened. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. You never see anybody in my, I mean, nobody ever comes here, you know? Yeah. That I know of. Of course, the gate's always open, and so is the house. Ooh, there's another one. Yes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> not the very best baking soda to use, but not, I'm, I'm a firm believer in using alternatives anyway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, anytime God's speaking to you, you need to perk up. Yeah. I, uh, I was in a Pentecostal environment. I was raised in a Pentecostal environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was in a Pentecostal environment, and uh, the preacher was preaching, and always talking about you know and it was very hard teaching to live under mm -hmm. because the guys you know, I mean we had to wear long sleeves never wear shirts you don't want to show any skin and get a woman excited you know and all of that <laughs> and of course the women they couldn't they couldn't cut their hair or wear makeup or anything you know you didn't want to you know so um, I just kind of randomly put this in here some people measure everything out and stuff but wow that's a piece of cardboard I don't really want that in there. It might suck up into my tube and clog yeah. it up. But um, I um, I just got it in there. Anyway, so after five or six years of attending there and, and taking my family, you know, you know, I was raising a family at the time, and, and it was great. My kids were you know, great kids and everything, and you know, because of, you know, the strict mm -hmm. teachings and stuff, and they were, I didn't have any trouble with either one of my boys. And none of my kids have ever given me any trouble. But anyway, uh, the preacher stands up one day and says, I can't teach y'all any longer because I'm coming out, I'm gay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And Pentecostal, you yeah. know, holiness teacher. Oh, wow. So all the congregation gets all upset and raising sand, you know, and oh gosh, you know, how could he do this to us and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought about it and I didn't have a problem. And I was like, you know what? I said, if you're Christian, you're supposed to forgive. I said, what, is yeah. Jesus not going to give him a, you know, can he not have salvation because he's gay? Yeah. You know, oh, no, that's a sin, that's a sin. Yeah, well, what were you doing before you got saved? Maybe he just needs to get saved again. Yeah. You know, maybe he's never been saved. Yeah. Well, how can he be teaching us then? I said, well, God used a jackass to reach Saul and, yeah. and change him into Paul, who was the greatest writer in the New Testament. Yeah. You know? A jackass talked to him. I said, maybe a jackass has been talking to us all this time too, but what did you learn from it, you know? Yeah. Why can't people wrap their head yeah. around anything? Seem to be, you know, a little more open and yeah. accepting and uh, not so opposing to just, you know, the natural flow of things. Yeah. Anytime somebody's teaching you anything spiritual, and uh, people will be like, oh, that's from the devil. You better watch out, you know? Yeah. Who am I to say? You know, if I get one one little bit of wisdom, I'm trying to get these clumps because you can tell that my junk's got wet out there. Yeah. So I try to break up these chunks of of this. They will eventually dissolve and everything will be good. And I don't have any distilled water, so I'm just going to use my tap water, which is, by the way, mm -hmm. it's very special. Oh, wow. Because my water comes out of the ground on top of the tallest point on the hill, oh, wow. which is the road's name is Sweetwater. Oh, so you got really good water here. But I got a secret. Yeah. yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you the secret in a minute. I like to use some hot water just because it dissolves the uh, baking soda a little faster. Now this is this is a green herb mm -hmm. that I like to use because my truck has a brain, mm -hmm. and this is an herb that I use that I like what it does to my brain because mm -hmm. it makes me just be a very nice and peaceful person. Wow! And so I like to drop some of these leaves in there just to keep the good vibes going. And so, makes my truck green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so out on my on my wellhouse, mm -hmm. on my pump, the, 
is um, you'll find the words love and peace yeah. and thank you. Wow. Because I figured if it worked on these jars, it would work on the on the tank where my water that I use in my house yeah. sits all the time. And now I haven't looked lately. Mm -hmm. I have a water filter. And when I first moved into this house, yeah, you get a shot of that. Can you see it? Or you want to go outside? Oh yeah. Are you, are you getting a shot? Okay. Um, I figured it would work on on my water because my water sits in that tank all the time when it's not being used. Yeah. And I have a filter. And when I first moved in here, I had to change that filter at least once a month. Mm -hmm. It would it would be yellow and and it'd have green. It would, it would start going algae and stuff. Mm -hmm. I put that on there over a year ago, and I haven't changed the filter. Wow. Now, we may go out and look at it right now, and it may be ah, because yeah. I haven't, I haven't looked at it. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't had to bother to look at it. Yeah, you know, because wow. every time I checked it after that, it was clean. So I'm saying, what do you think? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna put some more hot water in there just for. I mean, we can do any kind of random thing. I've got some crystals with me. Let's see what we can find in here. What color you want to make it? Uh, I got purple. Oh, purple's pretty cool. I got green. I got I got some of this kind of crazy oh, looking cool. stuff. I got. Yeah, I like the purple one. That, that dark purple cool. one right there. Look at this blue. Oh wow. Purple the <laughs> Now, the, uh, very important that you put this piece on the right intake here, <laughs> because this is going to be under the water, okay? Mm -hmm. So, the one that you can adjust, because this is, this one I've got it set in a fixed position, but this one turns and you can adjust it, mm -hmm. but I've got it where I want it, so it's fixed now, I, I made it where it's fixed. and. Um, this one does not go into the engine, but this one will be going into the engine. And if you hook it to that one, mm -hmm. you're going to just pull water straight up in your motor. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. That's not what you want to do. So you attach your bubbler to this piece here. And since I don't have the right size hose, mm -hmm. I just kind of stick mine right in here between these two guys and it kind of helps hold it into position. So oh, that's, wow. that's my bubbler. That's where... Mm -hmm. This system, it sucks air in here, and so it has to get air from somewhere, so it gets air from this, and it sucks it in and bubbles it under, kind of like you do a bong. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. it's like smoking a bong, it just bubbles it wow. up through there. You want it to be on a switched, mm -hmm. a switched uh, circuit, so I put it on my windshield wipers. Oh, cool. So it's not, you know, because you don't want to be making, you know, you don't want to leave this hooked up. And I don't even let the kids run the radio, you know, oh, wow. turn on the accessory. Yeah. Uh, whenever the car's not running, burning this because it'll be making gas, and it'll it'll blow this jar apart. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I've had that happen. Wow! And um, it's, it doesn't explode. Yeah. It's just the pressure because yeah. it's sitting there making gas, and there's no place for it. It's just like blowing up a balloon till yeah. it pops. So the motor has to suck it through, basically, right. to relieve the pressure. Yeah, the, the the motor has to has to do what it has to do to get that done. Where do I ground this at? I don't remember. I thought I had it grounded over here, and I probably did. I'll just wrap it around the ground wire. How about that? This is so yeah, professional, be... right? I mean, <laughs> let me work on your Evo, yeah. Michael. I can, I'll hook you up, boy. <laughs> uh, the redneck way. <laughs> I know I don't look like a redneck, do I? No, you look like a really positive guy. You look, look friendly. This, look at this stuff coming out of here. Uh, there oh, wow. I'll be, at, I'll be at Walmart parking lot doing this and somebody will see me and they're like, yeah, that guy's got a meth lab under his head, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Okay. Now, this motor, the other motor had a little, a port that had uh, plugs over vacuum mm -hmm. ports. 
but this motor doesn't have that. So I had to kind of rig up a place because the only vacuum I have here that's accessible is this one right here that these, these very important little things go on. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that all that was that important until I tried to, started trying to figure out why this truck didn't run good. And uh, come to find out I had vacuum leaks in these little hoses and once I plugged them and replaced these hoses, everything worked fine, so. Um, of course, I don't have the proper fittings and all of that stuff, so I just, I just put it together and make it happen. Okay. God, I hate the way it tastes. Yeah. But yes, I did get a little, do that. You pull and you're pulling through here. If oh. you've never sucked oh. uh, through your oh. throttle intake before, yeah, it's a nasty taste. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. You know what? I want to take it back out before I before I hook it up. I want it to be sitting up here. And can you just, mm -hmm. can you just, I want, I, the fan things over there, can you just keep that plugged? Yep. To no like Because I want to start the motor and see how it's running and then see the difference once I hook that up to it. Okay, cool. bubbles up because there's an exhaust or you know, there's a vacuum on it yeah. that's just electrolysis wow that's just that's just making brown gas right there stupid cool. people will take a, a match and put it right there and blow the thing apart <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay let it go it's got a lot of suction yeah there's good vacuum on it but the motor's running fine that I've got down in there that's coming back up through this yeah. should bubble about once or about six times a minute. Every once in a while you'll see one big bubble come up. And uh, boy, that thing is boiling some gas, yeah, boy. Yeah. That sucker is boiling some gas. Didn't sound like that when we came in, did it? No. Oh, here's alone. my buddy Paul. He got a new German wow. Shepherd. The, Those are the red dogs. one. The red one is new. Hey guys, what's up? You Hello. man, what's up? I'm a, I'm in a a video interview. Oh, you are? Yeah. Well, he is the nicest guy. Does the best carpentry work in the world. Wow. He's good to my animals. Right, guys? Teddy? Ah! Guy? All right, Peace. see you guys. Oh, <laughs> wow. A testimonial from my neighbors. <laughs> I'm a good guy. Ah. Wow. It's amazing how many people that you run into and you see their, their positivity. He lives in a big oh. huge house back there with gates. Yeah. You know. Oh, wow. The judge, that was the judge, judge's yard that was being mowed. Oh, he wow. shoots me peace signs when he comes down the road. 
Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man. Judge. Oh, man, too. He's old man. Wow. Judge Cole. And now you're fixing. Awesome. I'm, I gotta warn you, man. It's kind of a rush. Yeah. When you leave my house, yeah. it's kind of a rush. It really is. I, I used to catch it, and I didn't realize other people were catching it. But see if it's not just. It's kind of a, a rush. Uh -huh. Have you been in that environment? Heaven, okay. All you got right. a couple of guys on there that ride sport bikes. Yeah. Jasmine Road in Dade City. If you want to come ride it, hit me up. Oh, yeah. You want to go title? If you want to go title to title with what you got. Oh wow. That's that could be arranged. That'll be fun. An old man. <laughs> Just head around and look at me after when I squealed the tires. Did you see him? <laughs> yeah. It was like he looked over his shoulder. And said, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is uh, our end of the day and uh, just wanted to thank you for your time and showing me uh, a little glimpse in, in the, and the audience as well uh, into your life and your positivity and um, thank you very much. Thank you. You see the smile on my face, man? Yeah. You put it there. Oh, that's you awesome. You see that? Yeah. You put it there. That's cool. Feeling is mutual, man. It was yeah. so yeah, you got to be seeing the smile. How you doing? All right, how you doing? Oh, fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> Left up. Right. Wow. That's my life right there. You know, if you if you just spent an hour right here just watching, that's yeah. that's what you'd see. Twenty five, wow. thirty times. Some oh, kind of interaction cool. wow. like that with you. So we'll have to come back and visit with you again. Absolutely. And uh, <laughs> catch up with you and. Um, be sure to to add the Dade City Rasta Man to your Facebook page and um, follow with him. He's got a lot of cool pictures and he shares a lot of his insight and everything. And so yeah, you got to know. Some of my some of my some of my governmental views don't agree with yours. Don't worry about it because I'm not. All right. If you hear anything on there I'll, that's going to offend you, I apologize in advance. It's not my. Point my purpose to yeah. offend anyone is just me telling what I feel all right so don't 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 judge the whole thing by one thing that you might see on there because I'm a pretty diverse person I'm not a, I'm not a needle head I've got a wide open eye. yeah he's a great guy that's about it you know? all right well thank you